Hello and welcome back to Naples Nature Weekly. My name is Susan. Buckeye butterflies are commonly found in open sunny areas in the Naples area. There are two similar species in our area. Currently their common names are the mangrove buckeye and the tropical buckeye. Today we'll refer to them as the buckeye butterfly. The buckeye is a chestnut brown with six bright colorful eye spots. The eye spots are very effective in confusing predators. If a predator is not deterred by being stared at by these false eyes and goes in for a bite, the strategically placed eye spots will cause the predator to target the periphery of the butterfly rather than its vital body parts. You may have noticed butterflies with tattered wings before, which is proof of escapes from predators. But did you know that the buckeye is able to function normally even with up to two thirds of its wings missing? Yikes! Butterflies use a long tube-like tongue called a proboscis to eat. It works like a straw, allowing butterflies to slurp up liquids like nectar, sap, and juice from rotting fruit. The buckeye proboscis, also known as a coiled tube, isn't long enough to reach the bottom of long, tunnel-shaped flowers. Therefore, they drink nectar from flowers with a very short throat. Can you see the proboscis? And check out the compound eye. Butterflies are known for having the broadest visual range of all wildlife. With a larger visual field than humans and excellent perception of fast moving objects. Butterflies use light to search for sustenance, find possible mates, recognize predators and distinguish nectar in flowers. Some butterfly species may look identical, but often the male and the female butterflies will differ only by their ultraviolet markings. Humans have the ability to decipher the world's features with a variety of senses and tools. Butterflies are left to rely strongly on their sense of sight to keep their species thriving. Buckeyes are petite butterflies, about one and a half to two and a half inches, and fly close to the ground. Butterflies' feet have taste sensors on them that help them to locate food for their caterpillars. They stand on a leaf and give it a taste. If they determine the plant is something their caterpillars will eat, they lay their egg on that plant. Unlike some butterfly species, Buckeye butterflies lay eggs on a wide variety of host plants. Some of their host plants are water hyssop, Mexican petunia, and frog fruit wildflower. The mature caterpillar is black with numerous blue-black branched spines. Gardeners often worry when their caterpillars disappear off the host plant. Predators are the main reason for this disappearance. But if the caterpillar was ready to pupate, it often leaves the plant to do so. Caterpillars may wander up to 100 foot or more before pupating. In Naples, it is common to see groups of butterflies fluttering around mud puddles. Butterflies cannot live on sugar alone. To supplement its diet of nectar, a butterfly will occasionally sip from mud puddles, which are rich in minerals and salts. This behavior occurs more often in male butterflies, which incorporate the minerals for the purpose of mating. These nutrients are then transferred to the female during mating and help improve the viability of her eggs. Interested in seeing butterflies in the Naples area? It is a perfect time of year to take a nature walk. Here are a few of my favorite places. The Naples Preserve, Freedom Park, and Gordon River Greenway. Did you know that we have many butterfly books in all different formats? Feel free to check them out at callyourlibrary.org. Next week, we'll discuss another exciting Naples animal. Bye for now.